Hey guys, before you finalize your Christmas wish list, I thought I would help you out and put together a Christmas gift guide for guitarists. So go ahead and make sure to send this video to your significant other, your mom, your dad, your Uncle Tammy, your neighbor, and if no one else gets these presents for you, just make sure to go ahead and get them for yourself. I'll put the links for everything down in the description below. First, let's take a look at great stocking stuffers for guitarists. I know we all love candy in our stockings, but what is sweeter than candy for guitarists is a new pack of strings. And you can't have a brand new pack of strings without also having a freshly pressed pack of guitar picks to play it with. And keep in mind, as you're putting those new strings on, you're gonna need a nice string winder and also a nice clip-on tuner to make sure that bad boy is perfectly in tune, ready to rock and roll. Now, depending on what type of guitars you play or what type of guitars the person you're buying these presents for plays, you might need to look into some different types of strings, maybe acoustic strings, electric strings. You need to find out what gauge of strings that they prefer, and then also different brands. Go-to brands for me, I love Elixir strings. Those are always my go-to, but you can't ever miss out with Ernie Ball strings uh, or D'Addario. Those are some great brands to start off with right there. And then for picks, me personally, I always go Tortex if I'm looking for some nice picks. They make different sizes and they're all color coded so they look really cool. My personal go-to is the Tortex Flow uh, in the purple which is a 1.14 millimeter. I like that a lot for kind of rock playing, shred playing. I think it's a great pick. So you can find a nice pack of like 12 picks for relatively cheap. So go ahead and make sure to throw those in those stockings. And also as a guitar player, if you don't have a string winder, go get one. You can get one for like five bucks, maybe 10 bucks. They're super cheap, but they are so convenient and useful. I can't imagine putting strings on a guitar without having a string winder. And lastly, you might already have a clip-on tuner or the guitarist you're purchasing these presents for might already have one. But clip-on tuners are one of those things that you really can't have too many. You can have them with, in different guitar cases, you have different locations, just ready to go at any time because we need to be in tune when we're playing. So go check out, I like Snark tuners, there's D'Addario tuners, there's a bunch of great ones. Find one of those and get that and throw that in the stocking, it's going to be fantastic. Alright, next on the list, guitar pedals. This one can be tricky because guitarists get very particular about what pedals they want and all that. So if you're the guitarist and you're having someone shop for you, make sure to send them what pedal you want. And if you are buying pedals for a guitarist in your life, I'm just gonna give you some good go-tos that usually every guitarist is gonna enjoy having. Let's start off with overdrive pedals. I always lean in the direction of a Tube Screamer style pedal. Um, but before that, we can check out the Boss SD1. That is an absolutely great overdrive pedal. Tons of people love those. They sound great and they're pretty affordable for guitar pedals. And then depending how much distortion you might want, you can check out the Boss DS1. That is a super rocking pedal. Uh, and it's also very affordable. After that, definitely check out the Ibanez Tube Screamer. They make many different models. They make a mini version, which is pretty cheap. I think about 80 bucks. They make the TS-9, which is amazing sounding, and then the TS-808, which is also great. The TS-808 being the most expensive. I don't think any guitarist in the world would be upset by opening a nice Tube Screamer on Christmas morning to throw on their pedal board. It's just, it's not possible. It's just a great pedal. And then finally, this was a little bit, Definitely the higher price range, but really, really cool, is the JHS Bonsai. What this is, it has a bunch of basically Tube Screamer styles built into one pedal. It is on the higher end of price range. It's probably 230 250 I forget where it's at right now. It's a fantastic pedal, so if you know your guitarist in your life loves that pedal or you love that pedal, I definitely recommend putting that on the Christmas list. Another one I haven't personally been able to check out, but it sounds really, really cool in the videos I've seen, and the concept around it's really fun, is the Keeley Noble Screamer. So basically it's a Nobles ODR1 and a Tube Screamer built into one pedal, and that's a ride around 200 bucks for that pedal. That one, I don't know, that one just seems like a fantastic Christmas present right there, because you get the Tube Screamer sound and the Nobles. You get two different types of pedals in one, and it sounds fantastic. So definitely, I recommend checking that one out. All right, now if your guitarist needs some more space in his life, I recommend starting off checking out the Boss DD8 or the TC Electronic Flashback Delay pedals just to add some space in their playing. And I'm very particular with reverb, so this one's gonna be super expensive, the most expensive pedal we've talked about so far, but the UAFX Golden Reverberator Reverb is absolutely fantastic and will add tons of space in your guitarist's life. And finally, the last two pedals I'm gonna recommend. Every guitarist needs these. And if you're not sure if the guitarist in your life already has one, I'm gonna describe it for you. If, it, if you ever hear any wobble sounds or wah-wah sounds going on, they probably already have this, so you can overlook this. But if they don't have wah-wah or a wobbly sound going on in their life, 
definitely check out the MXR Phase 90 and some type of Wawa pedal, Crybaby Wah, a Vox Wah. I'll put some different ones in the description below, but definitely every guitar player need, needs one of those. They're so fun, they sound so cool, and they're just iconic guitar pedals to have. And they're not overly expensive, so definitely check out either a Phase 90 or a Wah Wah pedal. All right, next, I absolutely love this one. I call it Guitar Spa Day, and that's basically taking your dream guitar or any of your guitars, finding a local guitar store with a tech and having a complete remodel cleaned up. Brand new strings, clean frets, oiled fretboard, polished for like polished frets and clean, and obviously get a nice intonation set up, check out the pots, make sure those are all clean. I just love doing that every now and again, just to make the guitar feel amazing. But another option to give a guitar spa day is to buy the necessary things, and either you can do it for your guitars, or you can do it for yourself to clean your guitars. I'll put it in the description below, but there's a great fret polishing kit that I absolutely love. Uh, I forget the name of it, but I use that every time. I've been using it for about six months now, and it is fantastic. I just love nice, clean frets when I put new strings on the guitar. And then something to nicely oil the fretboard if your guitar needs that. That is very important and quite often overlooked, so make sure to find some good oil to put on, put on there. Uh, and then find you some spray to nice polish your guitar, make it look nice and clean. And then put brand new strings on, use your string winder, use your brand new clip-on tuner, and set that bad boy up ready to rock and roll. Moving on to the next gift idea is to get a portable guitar amp. Often these run off batteries, so you can literally be anywhere and play guitar. You can have one set up in the living room, set in your car, you don't know when a good idea might come to you, but having a nice portable amp is always handy, especially if you're traveling or anything like that, or it's actually a nice quiet little practice amp, so it's very good. And a couple good options for portable amps is first we have the Positive Grid uh, Spark Go amp. That one's really, really cool. There's some different sizes, um, but definitely that's a great one to check out. And Boss also makes some cool portable amps to check out. And my favorite is the Yamaha THR line of amps. There's some different sizes, so I'm not gonna go into particulars of those, but the Yamaha THR sounds absolutely fantastic, runs off batteries, you can plug it into your computer to record with it. it, has a software, there's all kinds of amazing things. It is a little bit more pricey than some other options, but it sounds amazing. So I highly recommend the Yamaha THR style of portable amps. All right, the final thing on this list, if you're feeling really giving this Christmas, is to go ahead and buy your guitarist or yourself your dream guitar. No guitarist is gonna be more happy on Christmas morning when they walk in and there's a massive, for me, a beautiful Gibson Les Paul maybe an access custom or something sitting right under the tree. I mean, that's just going to be the best Christmas ever. That's been the Christmas gift guide for guitarists. I hope this helps out with yourself or whoever is purchasing these gifts for a guitarist. These are must have things that every guitarist will love uh, and cherish on Christmas morning. So hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time.